welcome to episode 29 of Duo Night. For those of you who are watching this one day early on Patreon, thank you so much for all your support. This episode is super duper special because we have Moist Critical Charlie as a special guest for today. It's gonna be an absolute blast. If you guys would like to help support the channel, be sure to check out the Patreon in the link in the description box below to get early access to all Duo Night episodes, Ultimate Losers Match, Best Two Out of Three Finals, and many more. Be sure to check out our Patreon in the link down below. Again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for helping support Duel Night on Patreon. We will not be here without your generous support. All right, guys, without further ado, let's roll the intro. Welcome to Duel Night. This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. It goes like this. The set for every episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals battling for the title of champion. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us duel it off to see who can become the master of Duel Knight. Let's begin. All right, guys, we're on episode number 21 of Duel Knight. And you guys already know we cannot start a Duel Knight episode without taking a deep dive into the history of Enemy of Justice. Without further ado, let's take a deep dive into Enemy of Justice and see on what this set is all about. Let's begin. In spring 2006, Enemy of Justice reshaped the Yu-Gi-Oh! landscape. The world's elementalist heroes were met with their first worthy adversary. Destiny heroes put a timer on the duel with their clock tower prison, and time itself bends to whim of Destiny hero Diamond Dude. But hope is not lost for our defenders. Their heroism embraces new heights with the letter cards H, Heated Heart, E, Emergency Call, R, Righteous Justice, and O, Oversoul. But in order to prevail, the heroes must do more, and have molded some of their past aces into the newly redesigned champions, Phoenix Enforcer and Shining Phoenix Enforcer. While the opposing soldiers cross blades for the first time, monsters from another dimension on look, preparing for their grandest invasion yet. Banished strategies are bolstered like never before with Dimensional Fisher, Macrocosmos, and Banisher of the Radiance, providing these decks with the setup and disruption they have long needed. However, fairies are well prepared and deploy several strategies to ensure success. Negation is the name of the game for Bountiful Artemis and Voltanus the Adjudicator. Majestic mech monsters aim to provide easily accessible strength, and Layard the Liberator returns their fallen allies from the different dimension. Enemy of Justice will see duels of epic proportions play out. Will the elements triumph over destiny? Will the heavens fall to the different dimension? Which faction will stand triumphant at the end of Duel Night? Hey, so I'm Charlie. Uh, Sam invited me here for Duel Night episode 21 after I gave him a heart attack with my Grin Maju deck in Master Duel. <laughs> Bringing monster. So I'm hoping I can take that momentum here and that killer instinct to the actual cardboard TCG and just go wild here tonight and take home the trophy. Duh, 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 Duelies! Welcome to a very special episode of Duel Night. It is your boy Milano the Duelist and we got such a special guest today, Enemy of Justice. It's gonna be so awesome. We're really excited to hop in to it, can have a great time drafting and hopefully win today. Let's do it. Charlie, 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 we're gonna come into your home. You welcome us with open arms. What a, you're such a nice gentleman. 
but I am not. I'm going to obliterate you. I'm going to make sure that you are the first person I do. Charlie, I love you, but I'm gonna beat you. Let's go. Guys, I'm super excited for Enemy of Justice. There are so many cool hero support. <laughs> Guys, I'm super excited to take a deep dive into heroes again, because you know what? I believe in heroes. You know, we got Shining Phoenix Enforcer, we got Phoenix Enforcer, not the DPE you know, but the OG DPE, you know what I'm saying? And we got new Destiny hero support, so I might be playing those too. Who knows, but I'm feeling Aster Phoenix today with the with the new letter support, you know what I'm saying? Today we got Moist Critical Charlie in the episode. You know what guys, I already beat him on Master Duel, and you know, we're in Tampa, we're in Florida, and I'm gonna beat him here too. I can't wait. Let's begin. Charlie, Duelist. welcome to Duel Night. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to get my cheeks clapped a little bit here today. <laughs> it'll be fun. Listen, it's gonna be fun. Right here in front of you, you got four piles of goodness of all the new cards that's in Enemy of Justice, mixing it all with a bunch of other previous cards from all the other previous sets. So, a bunch of crazy decks in here. You got, wait, before we start, can we make an agreement to give Charlie the Duel Night special? What was that? We we, we make our mission here only to dust him and make sure he takes the bus 100% like he said, all right. his, his <laughs> cheeks are about to get demolished by all three of us right All right, let's do this. All right, this guys, here we go. Let's go. go. Good luck. GLHF. All right, I know what I'm taking first, baby. <laughs> Where's the staples, baby? Where's the staples? My goodness, I found my favorite card already. What? What is it? Did Jesse, did you see it? Oh! This bad boy's not even in English. <laughs> oh, no, I got it. I, I recognize the art. I don't know why this card is allowed. Let me check my documents here real quick. <laughs> you have a document? You have a doc? Uh, just, a, just, just a little... Uh, just a spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm actually the reigning champion of Duel Knight at the moment, so... Are you, are, are, are you convinced you're the best duelist in the world? I am the best duelist in the world. Even if you're against Jesse? I'm better than oh Jesse. Jeez, like that, like that. Yeah. Okay. Charlie, so how was your first two picks, man? Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. I'm looking pretty nice. <laughs> okay, okay. So Charlie, what's your background? What do you, uh, what do you mean? In like, dueling? Like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant like your nationality. Uh, oh, no, the straight up just Florida man. <laughs> Charlie, what kind of music do you like to listen to? Mainly metal. Mainly listen to a lot uh, yeah, of Yeah, I listen to your, your songs that you made that, the, with um, the other guy. I forgot who he was. Oh, but that fuck. shit was epic. Thank you, man. I appreciate it that. It's real to me. Yeah, that was yeah that's some Deftone style. So we just finished drafting. Charlie, how's your deck? Nutty. It's got real meat in here, okay. no doubt. Okay. Real meat, okay, okay. Milano, how's your deck? It's yes. gorgeous. Huh? Yeah, I mean, he's right. He's, it's kind of Josh. It's kind of Josh. But I'm so good. Absolutely with. beautiful. You guys literally stand zero chance. I will see you in the finals, or you in the final, or you in the finals. And whoever I don't see in the finals is losing the next round. All right, guys, I, I, I think my deck is absolutely perfect, like always, like every other week. Uh, your deck has been garbage and the exact same thing the last eight weeks. Right here, right now, we got two polymerizations and two penguins. Whoever matches the cool two corresponding cards face each other. You guys got that? Yes. Let's do it. Do it. I got this one. I got this one. One, two, three. Ah! This will be easy. Good job. I'm facing Charlie once again. Charlie doesn't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't think he knows how to play. He's just a beginner duelist, so... Yeah, my strategy is gonna send him to the Shadow Realm. There's no way Charlie can win. <laughs> Charlie, this guy? <laughs> Modern day Jesus? <laughs> Absolutely not, he's, he's not winning. I'm really excited to be facing Sam. He did get the best of me in our last meeting, but only just barely. The last, the last game was a bit of a brick, and the second game, well, it, it's just... Unlucky overall, I would say. So this is gonna be a nice time for me to come back here and show why I'm still the superior duelist, despite what our record might have you believe. Ah oh, man, I wish I played Moist. Oh, I want to play Charlie so badly, guys. Secretly, I'm the I'm the biggest Moist critical fanboy. So you know, I, I really want to play him. But you know, Steven's gonna have to catch my hands, and I'll hopefully see Charlie in the finals. So Steven, get ready because you're gonna need some luck. Milano! Me versus Milano, and then me versus Sam or Charlie. Sam or Charlie, doesn't matter who, I will face one of them in the finals. Let's go. All right, so I just finished drafting, 
and oh, 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 here is my deck list. The deck that I'm playing is Counter Fairies, which just essentially is a bunch of counter trap cards that have a lot of benefits with a lot of fairy monsters. I use a whole bunch of monsters like Voltanus, like Bountiful Artemis to gain a lot of benefits from using all these counter trap cards while trying to stun my opponent completely out of the game. The fairies allow my counter trap cards to make sure I don't go neg in card value to make sure I keep up my advantage. So I'm able to continuously overload my opponent with a lot of counter trap cards. I play cards like Solemn Judgment, Divine Wrath, Magic Drain, Magic Jammer. These guys are not playing today. They are not. I think I have actually the best deck today, which is very weird occurrence, but we're gonna get this. Hey, listen! Just finished drafting. This is my deck list. I decided to go for a Destiny Hero strategy revolving around Clock Prison to be able to summon a Dreadnought Master. I don't even know what the card name is. Doesn't matter, because I do know what this letter is, and that's W, and that's everything we're going to be taking. The main strategy of this deck is Clock Tower Prison. The idea is, after the full standby phase after this card, uh, I do not take any battle damage whatsoever. It is like a Swords of Revealing Light forever. And on top of that, I'm able to, once it gets destroyed by card effect, MST, Dustin, or whatever, I can special Dreadnought Max from my deck and then bring out two different Destiny heroes from my graveyard to make it extremely powerful. And it pairs with Diamond Dude, which is a very powerful monster, as well as Doom Lord, where Doom Lord will be able to take care of my opponent's problems and then I'll come back on second standby, deals with the problems, I get pluses off Diamond Dude, Great value overall, let's do this. Fun fact as well, I could use Clock Tower Prison. Once I want it destroyed, I could literally just play another Clock Tower Prison field spell, destroying it because another field spell is activated, triggering the effect, and then once the effect is triggered, win the duel. Let's do this. All right guys, so we just finished the draft. I'm very, very confident with my deck today. And here is my deck list. We got, of course, Shining Phoenix Enforcer and so much more. But now we got additional support with H Heater Heart, O Oversoul, E Emergency Call, and of course, the Lone R Righteous of Justice. My deck is absolutely powerful. What I'm trying to do right now is try to set up the entire board with a bunch of hero monsters, feed the graveyard as much as I can possibly can. So once that happens, I can one-shot OTK anybody that comes in my way. One of my ace monsters in the deck is, of course, Elemental Hero Necro Shade. This card came on the starter deck during the exact same time as Enemy of Justice and is now included in the draft. This card allows me to normal summon my big monster like Blade Edge for absolutely free without tributing. So Necro Shade in the Graveyard is absolutely powerful. Also thieves the Grave for Necroid Shaman as well. And man, Necroid Shaman is an absolutely free monster pop, which is what the deck needed to clear out big monsters. I'm telling you, I'm super duper confident in my strategy. And if I can get out Phoenix Enforcer, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. So low key, this might be a better Flame Wingman. All right guys, so I'm really excited for my hero strategy today. For all the hero fans out there, thank you so much for rooting for me. It's time to duel. Charlie, you're about to lose. The don't let the calm demeanor deceive you. Uh, this was actually my first time doing a draft and my heart was pounding because I didn't want to look like an absolute idiot. But I'm super satisfied with how I did. I think I drafted a pretty strong deck. Yeah, here's the deck list here. This is absolutely going to be the championship deck profile, no doubt. So this deck is pretty obvious with what it aims to do here. It plays out of the, the Banish, so obviously I have the DD Survivor Engine with Macro Cosmos or Dimensional Fissure, so that way it can constantly float itself back to the field, which is nice to have an 1800 beat stick that just keeps coming back. Then I have Grin Maju for some big high octane, big plays to be made. And then I also have the Majestic Mechs that I pair off with the Miraculous Descent, so that way I can bring them back as well. Just be another big beat stick for me. So this is the deck here, and I have no doubt I'm gonna be banishing to the Shadow Realm here. These poor souls, they came into my neck of the woods, Tampa, and I'm gonna show them why we are just the scariest human beings on the planet. Charlie! Hey, man. We're here again. Yes, yes, we are. Nice little rematch. Last time I clapped you in Master Duel, but here is different. Mm -hmm. I'm, no, I was going to say you're in my house, but no, I'm in your house, so maybe you have a home game advantage. I'm feeling like it, and okay. I had some great tutoring from one of the best duelists of all time, the old... Steven. Yep, the old Steven special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how confident are you in your deck? Pretty confident. I like what we drafted here, and I'm familiar with it from Master Duel to a certain level, okay. so I feel comfortable. All right, man, it's time to get your game on, okay? Let's How right. do you rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, or rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Shoot. Yep. See, I do the shoot. Yep. I, 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 I do shoot. I do shoot. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 
Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. I go first. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here you go, baby. Okay, fam. Okay. Ah, Charlie, drop a turn. First and foremost, I am going to normal summon my element to here, Wild Heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. In attack position, and I will play throw down two face downs, and my turn. Wild Heart is gonna carry me to victory. Let's go, baby. Beautiful, beautiful. Can you beat that Wild Heart? Yep. Let's uh, let's show you what a real turn with some meat looks like. Normal summon Banisher of Radiance. <laughs> Yeah, Wild Heart's pretty weak. Only 1,500 attack and makes me sick to my stomach. Banisher of Radiance, that's a real man's card, so it's just an easy uh, destruction here. And uh, any response? No response to Banisher, you're good. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Um, Banisher of Radiance. And then I'll enter battle phase and swing over the Wild Heart. Okay, I'll let Wild Heart go. Go to the graveyard, I take 100. Nope, banished. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. I for Gore. I yep, I'll go main phase two, and I'll set one back row. And in my turn. All right, I draw a turn. Da da. Okay, I am going to activate. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to activate, of course, my skyscraper. You know what this card does? No, what does it do? So now there's a couple of skyscrapers right around you, Charlie. How do you feel about that? I don't like it. So now I get to normal summon again. One wild heart is two is better than one. Okay. Two for one special, baby. Two ninety nine for two can dine. Guys, the really good thing about skyscrapers is that it makes all my hero monsters a big beat stick. So wild heart can run over radiance with absolute ease because it will get a thousand attack since banisher radiance has more attack than it. Once I have my skyscraper set up with any of my hero monsters, it is a victory for success. I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. Okay, cool. Now, what it does is that each time I attack a monster outside of the field that has a higher attack than my guy, he gains a thousand attack. Oh, okay, yes, interesting, sir. interesting. Yes, sir. So if you're Banisher of the Radiance, 1600, so it's higher than me, wild heart attack. So it'll be at 2500. Okay. Are you taking that? I'm gonna have to eat that. You're eating that, okay, destroy that, boom. So you lose 900? Yep. You're at 71 to my 79? Mm-hmm. Charlie, I pass my turn to you. Draw. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna play it safe, I'm gonna play it safe. Play it safe. Let's set one back row over here and I'll set a monster in defense and end my turn. Set a monster in defense mm -hmm. and one back row. No idea what that is, but I'm gonna draw. All right, Mr. Charlie. Just let you know, my wild heart has a special ability. When it attacks, it's unaffected by trap cards. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna enter battle phase. Wild heart, kaboom into that monster. That's the DD skill playing. Oh, yes. That's good on my end, guys. It's not banished, so we're lit on there. I'm pretty much it. I don't have anything else. I end my turn. All right, draw for turn. We're gonna set one more back row. I'm gonna normal summon DD Warrior. What does that do? So when I battle a monster, it is removed from play. Oh, so my guy's gone? Yep, battle phase. Disgusting. into that. Okay, so. Charlie just summoned DD Warrior to attack into my wild heart. <laughs> Absolutely no problem. I have so many other heroes, monsters I have access to in my hand. This is this, sure, no problem. I lose, you lose 300, mm -hmm. and we both banish. Okay. Well, and we both get banished, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Seven, oh Okay, so we, we lose 300. Putting you at 68 to my 79. End. End. Draw. Wow. Okay, Charlie, I am gonna activate my e emergency call. This card lets me call out one of my elements here monsters directly from my deck to my hand. And of course, I'm gonna call out my main man. I don't know what that back row is, so I'm pretty scared. I'm gonna summon, of course, my third wild heart. Ooh, yes, sir, the big. main man summon the wild heart again. Yep. Enter the battle face, okay. 15 to the face, baby. Your back rolls means absolutely nothing. You might have mirror force, sacrifice to armor, but it means nothing okay. to the wild man, okay? There you go. I'll take that 1500. Yeah, yep. 53. Yeah, 53. And uh, I end my turn. That's pretty much it. I'll draw for turn. Yep. All right. I'm just going to set. Yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah that's not part you want to say. So that, okay. Let me, let, me, let me ask the coach. So that doesn't so work. I don't know if you're familiar with that card. Yeah, it's no. uh, so how much time is Wahada? It's at 16. Okay, so you wouldn't use it here. 
Um, that only had triggers when he attacks. Oh. Right? So uh, you're bigger and you attack into it, he still dies. Oh, uh, okay, so okay. One, one, it's only on his turn. Oh, so that that card only pumps it up on his, his turn. turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, well yeah, then I'm. So, yeah. I've overthought this drastically. Yeah. <laughs> I see now. Then I will just normal summon Needy <laughs> Survivor. Needy Survivor, this card is pretty huge. 1800 beat stick, and if it ever gets banished, it always comes back. This card can be pretty annoying. So I didn't realize that the field spell Sam had out is only when he's attacking into me. So I was a little afraid to put DD Survivor out there, thinking that it would still gain that thousand attack and just slap me around. But after getting a bit of an explanation on it, I know now just Survivor can attack into him, no problem without him gaining a thousand attack. And swing into Wildheart. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> I thought it was like a moon mirror shield. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it works it's, out for you because now you have a body on board instead of having to. Yeah. Die to the skyscraper and then vanishing your own card. Okay. Wow, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I will draw for turn. Normal Sparkman. Mm -hmm. Enter battle phase. Sparkman, pew. Attack into your DD survivor. So, I think. I'm gonna play this as safe as possible. Biggest mistake of Sam's life attacking into me, I have the Mirror Force and the Macro Cosmos combo here, and I know this shuts down a lot of things that his deck probably aims to do. So this is the perfect time to use it. I also don't feel like he has any other monsters in his hand anyway, so this is just gonna be optimal. Yeah. And I'm gonna chain Macro Cosmos to banish it. Oh my god. That's, that's fine. Oh, oh right. yeah. Wow. To be honest, I thought Charlie didn't even know what a chain link was. I'm very impressed. But I'm sad. <laughs> Impressive chain links. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Chain link one, mirror force, chain link two, Mario Cosmos. It's kind of unfortunate. And my turn. Awesome. I'll draw for turn then. We're in a good spot now. Wow, the chess master is making moves. So when you have a when you have a position like this, the way you use that card is mandatory. You just put your own monster face down, flip it up, attack, and then it's back to your hand face. Okay. Later. So that it is a mandatory. It is when, mandatory. Okay. So you have to book something. So if you summon it with just him on the field, it puts the face down. Uh, okay. You cannot do that. I see. All right. So, but okay. So I, I can normal summon now. It puts this guy down, and then I can just fill it back up. Yes. Okay. Makes sense then. Then that is the play I will be making and we'll enter battle phase. Yep. And I'm swinging with a lot of them. How much is that? That'll be 2,900. Wow. Oh my God, so much damage taken. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. The Tsukiyomi play is pretty easy. It's just free damage. I just summon her, flip survivor, brings or flip survivor back. Like it's just free 2,900 damage. Okay, I'm at 47 to 53. I'll end my turn. And then Tsukiyomi gets returned to your hand. Oh, right. she floats. Draw a hero. Hero, hero. Ha ha ha. That's not good though. He comes back every turn. Get more spark then. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna do some damage in. I'm just gonna attack into your DD survivor. How much do I take from that? So it's a thousand, so you take 800. 800. 800. Yes. Remove from play from Macrocosmos. Yes, sir. And then we'll come back. Um, I have my turn. That's it. All right, DD Survivor's effect brings him back since he was removed from play. Yep. Perfect. Draw for turn. Yes, sir. Are you getting a little nervous, Sam? Honestly, that Macrocosmo is killing me, and I, you. Should have done some plays before that. I didn't anticipate that to come up so quick. It's fine. But that macro is clapping cheeks right now. Well, here, let me just reinforce it. Let's just play a dimensional <laughs> fissure just, just in case you find some way out of it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I just played this fissure as insurance. I just, I had it and figured there's no reason not to keep it on the field just in case he does have an out to macro cosmos. My only regret was not using King of the Swamp that I have in my hand to search polymerization because now I cannot discard King of the Swamp to search polymerization from my deck to my hand. Previously, I had Wild Heart and Blade Edge. I could have made Wild Edge to clear his entire board, but he activated Macrocosmos with the Mirror Force. 
and it's putting me back so many turns. And the two sets cards that I have on the field, you guys can see, are two fusion recoveries, which does absolutely nothing. So I'm breaking hard right now. <laughs> then you know what's coming, the Sukiyomi flips that, and then I'll just normal summon again. And what are you at? You're at 20. I'm at, I'm, I'm at 47 to your 45. So this is 29. We'll just swing as is. So DD Survivor over Sparkman and then Sukiyomi to the mouth. Yep. Wow. So I take 13? Mm hmm. Yes, sir. I'm at 34 to 45. And Sukiyomi comes back. I'll end my turn. Draw. Yes! Throw down a face down? Mm hmm. Your turn, Charlie. I'll draw for turn. Yep. Okay, let's go for game. I'll do Bazoo. Bazoo. I'll banish two. Yeah. Wow, you're insane. And that'll give me, it's 300 per, right? Yeah. Yep. So that'll give me another 600 here. So 24 plus 1800, and I'm swinging. Cool. How much, is, how much is that? So, yeah, it'll be. 22 plus 18, so it'll be 4,000. Yeah. All right, Charlie, guess what? I am safe because I drew the 19 attack! <laughs> oh, he's thought of everything! Let's go, baby! One more turn, baby. Yeah, one more turn. The gain attack. I'll Screw you. End my turn, man. Mm. This guy oh. is good. Scout. Oh, and then Scout comes back. Thank true, you. true. Yes, coming back. Coming back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, guys, heart of the cards. So the bazoo play, I just really thought I could swing for game, but it has the added benefit of also giving me my scout plane back since once that gets removed from play, it floats back to the field. Uh, hopefully this bazoo play doesn't turn around and become a, a pain point. I hope he doesn't have any outs because bazoo is kind of a big hitter for me. I'll set this face down. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll set this face down. And I have my turn. Draw for turn. I don't think that's enough to, to save you. We'll just go Sukiyomi. <laughs> oh my jeez. And we'll just really come at it. So battle phase, survivor into the face down. Yep. King of the swamp. Yeah, I, there was a previous play where I could have discarded this to search polymerization. Oh. But you flipped that. Because this needs to be this, in, to discard it to the graveyard to search polymerization. Yes. So you, so you, so you cut me on that. The macrocosmos. Oh, oh <laughs> and then they're swinging with the rest here. So how much is that, Bazoo? Bazoo is at 1,600. 16, okay. 1,100 from Tsukiyomi. Yep. Yeah. And 800 from the Scout. I'm at 700. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, is this, is, uh, Scout is 800? Yep. Oh, my God! I bricked! I bricked! Ah, oh, it's freaking easy, dude! I bricked! No, there was a play where I had, there was a play where I can go like, uh, what's a, a, a wild edge, where this card can attack all the monsters you control. Right here, it attacks every monster you control, mm -hmm. but you activate Mount Cosmos, so I can search this. That's so big, thank yeah. you, Mac. So, I, so, so, my, so my play was, I, I, I should have discarded this search polymerization, right, puts this in my graveyard if I draw Miracle Fusion as well. But then, you and Sue activated this, I saw this and I... Oh my god! No! My hero strategy has failed me every single time. Every time I play heroes. Every time. But that's okay, because I'll see you guys in the Ultimate Losers match on Patreon against whoever loses. Steven Milano, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna become the Ultimate Loser on the Patreon. I'll see you guys there. Check out the Patreon right now. Good luck, Charlie, in the finals. I am rooting for you, my friend. Milano! Stefan, the duelist. I must win. I must face Charlie. I'm the finals. Face Charlie. I'm, I'm face facing Charlie. Charlie. I'm facing Charlie. There's You're gonna face Sam on Patreon. I'm facing Charlie in the finals. Oh my, my goodness. There is no way you're playing Charlie because I'm gonna win this. Let's do some rock, paper, scissors and shoot. No shoot though. All right, no shoot because okay. we're real Canadians. Of course. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh! I'll play. I will start. All Let's right. Do this. Best of luck. Draw for turn? Yes. Normal summon, downfall Artemis. Uh oh. And set three cards. Your move, duelist. Draw. 
Hmm. Tough choice here. Very tough choice. I'm the I'm the CEO of giving tough choices. You should you should know by that know that by now, Steven. I will normal summon. Doesn't heal do more! Oh, this guy's the um, Don't touch my card! Don't touch my card! Ah, Doom Lord. To banish my Artemis, little does Steven know, I got another one up my sleeves. I'm just gonna stay plusing. Your Doom Lord ain't got nothing on me. He's, I know what he does. He actually banishes a monster until the end of the next, I remember that. I have priority to do it. Wait. Okay. Goodbye. Is my next standby phase? No, I said don't touch my card. Actually? Yes. Why not? Because you're filthy. You actually not want me to touch your card? Yeah, you're filthy and a little stinky too. I can smell you from over here. Bro, I'm literally wearing your cologne. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> He's a fake, uh, it is a great cologne, huh? During your second standby, that's insane! I know! <laughs> I cannot attack a lot. I remember man. that I was played in Necros for Matt, funny enough, because you used Rota to yes. search the, and out the gin lock. Where yes. Sadly, I cannot attack. However, I can activate swords and revealing light! Oh my god. And then, I will set one. Guy drew the out. And I will pass to you. Draw. I will normal summon the Bountiful Artemis once no! again. No! Play down, a singular face down, and I will pass the turn. All right, yeah. I will draw. Two, two Artemis? Artemis? This guy's deck does nothing without three Artemises in his deck, and either two of them? Doesn't even matter, though. It doesn't matter. We're going to let him plus a little bit. It's fine, because I know that once these two are gone and the last one's gone, his deck does absolutely nothing. So we're going to be in a very good scenario. I'm prepared for this. Let's do this. I have a second Bountiful Artemis. Even though he's got the Doom Lord to banish it, I still need to maintain my card advantage to make sure I don't fall behind. So I will have to use my Divine Wrath on that Doom Lord. Stupid Doom Lord. Stop my face, number one. Mm -hmm. Swords of Reeling Light, number one. Well, I mean, I'll do that again! I will have to. This guy's cheesing me. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to divine wrath that. Whoa! Negate and destroy your Doom Lord. And I'll because of my bountiful Ar oh, Artemis no. on resolution. I'm gonna draw one singular card. And one okay, card that sounds fine. Is that a once per turn effect? Nope. I'll activate. Nothing. <laughs> nice. Uh, thinking. One second. Oh. One second. You know what? I will. I will normal summon Destiny Hero Diamond Dude. <laughs> Your Diamond Dude and can't I'll stand up to no Artemis. Activate Artemid. the effect of Destiny Hero Diamond Dude. Proceed. It will go back to the bottom of my deck. For those in the world that do not know what Destiny Hero Diamond Dude does, such as Milano, I am I able to it. reveal the top card of my deck, and if it is a spell, I can use the effect. I will not use it now because I will draw a better card next turn, and I would prefer to see it. And I will now pass my turn to you. Draw. Play down one first, face down, yes. and I will pass. All so right. it's turn two for swords. Yes. That card's so broken. Oh, Comes that's actually now. second standby phase, yes. yeah, right now. I will use the effect of Diamond Dude. That's fine. Ah! Oh no. That ain't no blowback odds. Because if, if it was blowback odds, you'd be hitting Pot of Greed after yes. Graceful Charity, after D draw. My next Is move, D -draw even I will draw more Diamond Dude again! Whoa! I don't like to be defective. Hold diamond. up! Hold the phone, Steven. I will allow it. Effect? Yeah. Ooh. Clock Tower Prison. Look out, my friend. Look out. You don't seem to have very many normal spell cards, huh? I will pass. All right, so this is the final turn for swords, draw. Bro, I'm just gonna pass, and next turn, you're gonna catch the works. Destroy, get rid of this. I will use the effect of Diamond Dude. That's fine. Hallelujah! <gasps> Yo! You just get the effect, so I'm pretty sure, well, that doesn't trigger? I'm pretty sure it still mills it, right? He draws, right? Next turn? Oh, wow. I draw? But it still gets milled then. Yeah, it still gets milled, but you don't draw. Wow. Effect again on the other diamond dude. That's fine. Whoa! Wait, it doesn't resolve right now. It's on the next it turn. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> bro, have you read Diamond Dude? Have you read Diamond Dude? Bro, this guy does not even know what Diamond Dude does. Trying sense. to educate the audience without having prior oh, knowledge, Lord, bro. This guy's spreading misinformation. Yo, Milano, can you stop talking? <laughs> in your main phase of your next turn, you can activate the effect of that card in your grave. Okay, so that could resolve. Oh, so I could resolve Avarice too. 
if you can put the monsters <laughs> in the <laughs> It's okay, I'll put some monsters in grave next turn for you, bro. Thanks, bro. Double diamond, dude. Double whiff. Oh my god, I have so many spells in my deck, but you know what? It's all good. We have Swords of Revealing Light, so I can trigger off Diamond Dude multiple times. Ah, it's okay. We will get back in this. He got pluses from his ace. Now it's time for me to get pluses with mine. I will activate Reinforcement of the Army. It's quite a powerful card. Unfortunately, I think my Magic Jammer has something to say about that. And it will. Uh oh. Magic Jammer. I will yes. discard Magic Jammer to negate and destroy. And then Battle for Armist Chain Link 1, Battle Myth, Battle for Armist Chain Link 2, <laughs> and uh... Voltanis, the, oh, oh. the Educator! All right, this is what happens. So when I resolve my, my, my Counter Trap card, I can okay. tribute all monsters I control, special summon him, and when he's special summon, I destroy cards up to the number of fairies that I tributed. Okay. So right now I'm going to be drawing two, tribute summoning my guy, okay. popping two cards you control, it's literally Guardian Chimera. Okay. On crack. And I cannot... No, this is this is chain link, chain link 3, chain link 2, chain link 1. And does the distortion happen in the hand? No, it summons and on summon it okay. will get that effect. Okay, resolves. I feel like I have to drop it now because I'm kind of worrying of what's what kind of tricks Steven's got in his bag. So I think it's a fair play to go for a little early, but let's see if it pays off. Draw two. Here's what just went down. Milano just basically tributed the two best cards in his deck that I have a really tough time outing at the moment because they're protected by traps and continuously draws for one card that I'm just going to deal with anyways. This looks like an absolute victory for me. I'm down. Huge misplay by Milano. I'm going to take advantage of this now and it's time to win. And on seven effect? Does that target? Nope. It does not target. It does not target. I will use Torrential. Wow. I'm not gonna respond to that. Okay. Nice, that was sick. <laughs> Botanis, Torrential, let's go. Oh, Steven, 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 you were in a bit of a sticky wicket here. When you got that terraforming next turn though, kind of sweet. When does it trigger? Main phase of the next turn, okay. And I will pass. Draw. Can we draw? Sure. Pass. All right. I draw. I will resolve the terraforming. Sure. The deck strategy will now be unlocked. Clock prison. Milano, you're on the clock. What is this card, dude? So one during each of your points down phase while there's four more. You do not take any bow damage. Wow. That's annoying. I will cut my deck. I'm just And soon. I'll activate Upstar Goblin. That's okay. I will flip up Mask of Darkness. Wow. Effect. Sure. Nice. Mask of Darkness adds back Torrential. I have full control of this game and I really don't see it going anywhere, but absolute victory. So I should have played the one of Moth. I will right? activate Clock Tower Prison. I'm gonna chain Magic Dream. So that says I can you discard can either it. You discard a spell to negate the effect. But this is gonna negate and destroy it if you don't. So you have torrential, and specifically torrential uh, unknowns, uh, hmm. a technicality. Dude, I need, I need a like. I, I could have definitely played this better. Like, dude, I was in such a super winning position. Okay, I will talk for nine hundred. Okay, I'll take that. That's first damage, right? Yes. I am. 71 near 8. I will pass. This will gain one counter. Go. I will attack. I will take your 900. All right, I will set. 
And I will pass. Dude, that Mask of Darkness is low-key kind of beefy. Yeah. I will have to pass the turn. Draw. This has two counters. Mm -hmm. I will attack for 900. I will take that. I will pass. I will draw. Snap my face. Yes. Attack, 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 attack. Let's go, Mask of Darkness. Trap the shoot. Ta da! I guess still have monster. Okay, I would like to read these. Okay. Uh, force backstops, normal summon. Horn of Heaven stops that. Magic Jammer, he definitely has probably one of those. One second, just let me see him. Um, can you find out your grave? Uh, that was a really solid fan, actually. Dust shoot, I missed. Ah, it's fine. It's all good. It's okay. Uh, at least I know his hand. I know what to play around. And now that I know what he has in his hand and how he didn't set a card as well as last turn, he did not set a fifth. I can kind of foretell also what he has set. So we'll keep this in mind and we'll play around the rest of the duel. I got the text code, bro. Yeah, uh, I would get rid of Magic Jammer. You it's only oh, it's Master. Oh, shit. My yeah. bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you're losing, though. But, uh, okay. Bro, I'm losing to your Mask of Darkness. Like, stay confident. You, you drew five times with Bountiful Artemis, and I'm still losing. I just need one monster, pass. Uh, draw. I just need one monster. Three counters on Clock Tower. Yeah. See, that's where it's going to get a little uh, trouble. Wait, reinforcement of the army. I will Magic Jam that. Yep by pitching horn. I will uh, pass. All right, draw. And I will once again pass the turn. Yu-Gi-Oh, give me a monster. I will normal summon Shining Angel. Wow, that is very troublesome. And I will attack. So you've taken five, uh, five and one, right? 914, I'm at 3K. You forgot to attack last turn. Guys, I need to see a monster right now. It's really important that I see one right now. I have full control of the duel right now. I'm going to get much value every single turn as cards go on. The only card that could save him is Bountiful Artemis, and there's only one left in the deck because we already dealt with two of them. We're in a great situation, and I'm prepared. Let's go. Did I? Yeah. It's fine. I'll pass. Monster! It's not it's quite the monster counters. I needed. I will pass. Yo, like... I will normal summon DD Warrior Lady. I'll enter the battle phase. Yeah. Is that fine? Yes. I'll attack with Mask of Darkness. I'll activate the gate attack. This stops the battle phase, right? Yes. I will pass. Draw. Normal summon Bountiful Artemis. Let's get gaming! Nice! The third Bountiful Artemis. That's fine. I will enter the battle phase. That's fine. I will have a piece of your Mask of Darkness. That's fine. I'm gonna have to play one face down. You know what? I'll put two face downs and I'll pass. So in this scenario, he has five counter traps. He has so many counter traps set, and a lot of them are, are able to trigger his Artemis uh, to be able to get free draws. There's Negate Attack, there's Divine Wrath, there's a lot of cards where you get lots of value here. If I were to enter the battle phase and attack with DD Warrior Lady, if I just put DD Warrior Lady in defense, he can actually trigger any of these trap cards and we're gonna be in a really, really good spot. Especially because as the duel keeps going on, the more it benefits me. He cannot out any of my stuff and I'll keep drawing great cards. I could deck him out with my spell and we're in a great spot at the moment. Let's go. Draw. Normal Summon, Exiled Force, response on Summon. Wow. So we Normal Summons is Exiled Force and I have to bounce it back because I need to save my, my Divine Wrath for the, for the DD Warrior Lady so he's not actually able to clear my card. And uh, that's kind of the position I'm in. I have to stall as Exiled one more turn. Oh, Force back. Okay. Artemis? Okay. Don't pass. Draw. Battle phase. Okay. I'll kill Angel. I'll use the fuck. Sure. Pass. Yo, this is actually gonna be a really long duel. Steven made a pretty heads up play by playing around Divine Wrath, just putting his monsters in defense, playing it very passively. You know, I gotta I gotta pay respect to a good play. I will normal summon Exile Force. I will. 
Oh, of course he's got exile for us. Oh, man. I gotta use my judgment here. Solemn judgment. Okay. And then powerful? Okay. Ah, uh, it's okay. We saw this coming. It's fine. We're gonna push through. Eventually, all we gotta do, very simple, get rid of this third Artemis. The second this Artemis is gone, there's no more plusing, and the duel's over. I need to get rid of this. As you guys saw earlier in the duel, around mid-duel, this is a very long duel, there was no play in the deck had aside from Artemis. So once Artemis is out of the deck and gone, that means his counter traps not, no, more, no longer get value. We're good, we got this. I'll activate creature swap. <sighs> That really sucks. Artemis. Yep. I'll pass. I just have to judgment again. Like, I have no response. I can't do nothing here. Another solemn? Ah, it's okay. There's only one left in his deck. We got this. We will just blitzkrieg our way to victory. You draw. Can I help you? <laughs> okay. Um, battle phase. I kill your Shining Angel. I was set. Uh, I think it's fucked. Isn't it mandatory? Am I wrong? It is not mandatory. I just forget. I will not use the effect. Pass. Holy No Mac muscle and Destiny Hero do more response. That's so nuts. I just have to keep throwing these, man. Ah! Feels so wrong, please! Finally! Resolution. Third Solar and third Bountiful. Is this like the counter trap version of Yugi Moto? What is this? Ah, all these life points would really hurt if I wasn't drawing all these cards. Bountiful Artemis, get to work. Activate my, what's his name again? Because this one has no text. I will use my Vault. Voltanus the Agitator. We use this for it. So a special summon, attributing, and then I'll use the effect. So I get to destroy one card. I will change Rancho. Yes. What's he do? He's a thousand for each counter, right? Destroy all monsters you control after. What? They, Is after it? you get personal with the two destiny. Thank you. Uh, are you using the effect? Yes. Steven, one card in hand? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, I so still triggers? Yeah, using good. the effect? Yes. Change of line now. Okay. You've been, you've been playing around the whole game, I gotta respect that. Go. Attack. I don't think that's something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt him now. Sure. I get some straight. Draw. One sec. One sec. One sec. I'm not done. <laughs> this is so down to the wire. Draw. Almost on Venus. Sure. I cannot even pay for a single shine ball. Enter battle phase. Sure. <laughs> 16, first sure. damage, finally. Mark. Pass. Pass. Draw. Battle phase. 16. Yep. Go. Go ahead. Draw. Activate graceful. Sure. One, two, three. I want that. And second. and a knock. Yep. Normal? You're 48? Sure. Battle phase? Sure. 16? Okay. 16? Yep. Oh my god, what a comeback. I'm gonna pass. Well, actually, it wasn't a comeback, because I was like, I literally had double Artemis, so I can't even talk like that. Yeah, yeah, I was a throw, then a comeback. It's gotta count for something. <laughs> I'm at 16? Yes. I'll use effect. Um, that's okay. 
Go scrape it. I'll pass. Draw. Stand by me. Who's all Yep. Battlefield? Yep. Kill? GG. GG! Ah. Wow! What a f <laughs> Excuse my language. What a game! Wow! Yes! Yes! Charlie, you're up next. I really lost. I dealt all that. I, I weathered the storm. I dealt with plus a thousand Bountiful Artemis, and my deck could not beat Normal Summon, Venus, literally Gem Knight Garnet attack. I couldn't, I couldn't beat it. I'm so excited to play Charlie. It's so awesome having him here. And even though I'm his biggest fan, I'm going to make sure to teach him the Dual Knight special and give him a little taste of what's to come with my counter fairies. Get ready, Charlie. You're going to be a little bit of trouble. Well, I know you're my boy, but you know I got to root for Charlie. If Charlie can pull this off, it would be absolutely legendary. Let's go. I'm excited for that final. Sam, I will see you on Patreon, where I will defeat him and hand him his Patreon loser trophy. Let's go. Charlie! Milano, this one's for Steven. I saw, what you, I saw what you did to him and it made me sad. Well, Charlie, I just wanna thank you for being on Duel Night and I'm gonna thank you for giving me this free victory because you're a beginner duelist. Ah. Let's roll, let's do some RPS, figure out who's going first because I need to figure out when I'm gonna be becoming first place. Yeah, you know no, that, make, that makes All sense. Right, yeah, let's yeah. do this. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh that's shoot. right. You, you right. Do, that's Sorry. Right. All right. No, we can, we can do I respect, we're in your house, Charlie. We'll do shoot. All right, if you're sure. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, let's go. It's because it was shoot. No, I'm joking. <sighs> All right. You ready? Would you like to start? Yes. All right, good luck, the list. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh my. Oh my. Got a very special surprise for you, Charlie. Draw for turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> this is. I've got some pretty disgusting filth over here. Okay. I hope so. All right. My hand's pretty good, too. So, I think we just start with a little dimensional fissure. <laughs> Any response? No response, sir. Great news. And then let's get a DD survivor out there in attack position. All right. And I'll pass my turn. Perfect. Draw. This opening hand is nasty. This is some straight filth right here. DD survivor right into the dimensional fissure. I set up exactly what I'm looking for. Turn one. I'm feeling confident. Whoa, D fissure and DD survivor. That's a pretty strong opener. But I got graceful charity. One, two, three. Come on, let's go. I'm feeling very greedy right now. The graceful charity. Mm. All right, so let's me draw three cards. Graceful charity is a little scary, but I still don't think his deck has many outs to my DD survivor combo. Wow, that's so broken. And discard two. Unbelievable. They're going, yes. Mm. Oh, wow, this is actually really tricky. Uh, Magic Jammer? Oh. I will normal summon the Bountiful Artemis. Three face downs. Mm -hmm. Your move, Charlie. Draw. I can't really deal with this DD Survivor right now, so unfortunately, I really have to commit a lot to this play just to deal with this whole board. Let's see how it works. Oh my. Can I take a peek at that? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Every time I resolve a counter trap, I draw one card. Okay. And it's not once per turn. Interesting, okay. Let's give me the maximum pluses. I'll start by playing this little bad boy. Middle column. My up. back row. Infinite impermanence. And then I'm throwing down another DD survivor in attack position. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. All righty. I'm coming at you with the meat now. I'm All right. swinging over. All right, I'm gonna have to activate negate attack. Negate oh. your attack and negate your whole battle phase oh while you're at it. And then it'll give me one additional juicy draw. And actually, as chain link two, I'm gonna have to drop it right now, the Voltanis. <gasps> so he's gonna special summon himself and destroy one card on the field on, in a separate chain. So it's gonna be chain link one, chain link two. Special summon tribute, and then I'll, I'll be, oh, this gets banished. I'll be drawing one card for Artemis. And then in a separate chain link, I'll activate Voltanis to let me destroy one card on the field. Do you have a response? No response. All right, so I'll pop the D-Fissure. Oh, goodbye, D-Fissure. 
I'm good. Oh, you're passing? Yeah, that's okay. all I got. Draw. Because this was still that same negate attack turn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I'll battle help. phase? Mm -hmm. I'll just attack a DD survivor. Macro! <laughs> Mirror Force. Mirror Force? I'm actually super glad he chose the defissure over the mirror force. I think that was the best possible thing that happens since I don't have many ways of beating that Voltanus. All right, I guess I have no response. Oh, reliable. I will set two cards face down and I'm gonna pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. Damn, mirror force is so powerful. Mirror force <laughs> kind of slapping, not gonna lie. Let's get a banisher of radiance out there. I will allow it. And I'm swinging with the football squad. <laughs> All right, so this is first damage. I'll take 18, I'll take 18, and I'll take 16. I'm at 28 to your 8K. Ah, it feels nice. It's a good position to be in. I'll pass my turn. Ah, draw. I'll play one face down card and I will pass the turn. I'll draw. Clock Tower Prison. What? Just to be a bit safe. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Clock Tower Prison. Uh-uh. No, I, I seen that card too much. I don't, shoot, shoot. I'm gonna activate Magic Drain. Mm. So essentially it negates the activation and destroys it, but you can discard a Magic card to negate this card. I cannot discard, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll just enter battle phase. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Of course, I have no way to stop his attacks with my three spell negates and my Horn of Heaven, which I have no monster to tribute. It is what it is. You know, sometimes you just get unlucky. And I'm coming at you again. Who's? Can you declare the order? Yes, I'll go DD Survivor. Okay, I will activate Shrink on Declaration, having its attack. So I'll take okay. 900. Now I'll go DD Survivor. I will take your 1800. And I will go Banisher. Congratulations, <laughs> girl. <laughs> wow, dude, I drew so wow. much spell yeah, draft again. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You got washed. Dude, that was a that nice was speed good. run. That felt good. Oh. I got clapped. Wow, congratulations, Charlie. Thank you. you. Just Let's actually go. just won. <laughs> Yo, he put us in our place. <laughs> what? That was cool, Charlie. What? Hey, we like that. We like wow. that. Honestly, the easiest duel of my life. I, I can't believe it ended in what, like five turns? Ah, uh, Jesus, it's too, it's too easy. I'm the duel night champion, baby. As I knew I would be, I'm glad I was able to come out here and prove that. I've been, I've been really known for sure that I'm one of the best in the world. Hey, thanks guys for watching. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad Sam and the gang had me on and, and dueled against me. This was a great experience. And uh, if you want to see more, check out the Patreon for sure. Bye everyone. Hey, congratulations to Charlie, though. Thank you for coming on. Hey, man, I can't believe you won the whole thing. Dude, he's a, he's a beginner duelist. Guys, don't forget to check out the Patreon. There's so much fire on there. You're literally missing out on 50% of the Duel Night content if you're not on there. So I would advise you to get your bum over there on Patreon and make sure to get that Diamond Duelist certificate so you can watch all behind the scenes, extra duels and deck profiles and many, 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 many more. It's been your boy, Milano the True Duelist, signing out. Guys, thank you for watching. I love you guys as always. See you guys on the next episode. Charlie, it was a blast to have you on. Hope you're on more of these. Guys, I love you. We'll see you next time. Congratulations to Charlie for winning in today's episode. That last match was an absolute disaster for Milano. And to be honest, I didn't think Charlie had it in him. I thought he didn't really play you feel like that, but his drafting strategy was really, really smart. He built a very, very solid deck, and I'm very happy that he took it home today. Oh my God, he absolutely dusted me, and he absolutely dusted Milano in that finals match. The Mirror Force was too good. Anyways, if you guys want to help support the channel and see the Ultimate Losers match and more behind-the-scenes content on Patreon, be sure to check it out in the link in the description box below. Enjoy the Duel Night Patreon today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Duel Night. This is your boy Sam from Team Sarah's and Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. Fuck you, beat. Hip hop.